Hello, this is Lobo here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. I do have another video, another guide, I guess you can say, to help you guys out in one particular type of technique that Yoshi Music can do for some evasion and some trickster style play. Now, the thing that I'm going to showcase, it's very difficult to perform. And to be honest, this is more of a glitch than anything. I do not believe that this is something that you can do easily by constantly and consistently pulling it off because of how weird the interaction works. So the moving question is called the Super Dragonfly. Now you may already know this from Flashy Mitsu's videos. He already has a particular video associated with the particular mechanic. Now the way that it's performed, you have to be in your Indian stance. Now, once you're in your Indian stance, you then have to press 1 into up 1 plus 2 to then perform this. It has to be done in a 1 frame interval when performing the 1, and then after the up 1 plus 2, it has to be done quickly. Not simultaneously, it's not together. You have to do it like pianoing the buttons to make it happen. Now, I'm going to try to perform it, but I may not get it at the first time, so let's just see. I didn't get it right this time. I'm gonna try again. I didn't get it. Now I got it. Now you see in the top left corner that I performed the move into a one frame interval with the one, but the up one plus two has to be, be, be bleh, words. The up one plus two has to be performed exactly at the same time, and it it doesn't really matter at what frame. It can be around like around four frames, five frames, or even around six frames, maybe even seven frames. But as long as you do it exactly like this before that, let's say maybe above seven frames, then you won't be able to perform it. So again, you just simply do it again. And if you get it right, that happens. There we go. And I failed. Now there might be some interactions where instead of getting the super dragonfly, you'll just get the sound coming from the attempt of doing this. But you'll be in your flea stance instead. See? And then it may work. See, it happened again. This means that you did perform it correctly, but the game didn't register that you actually got into your dragonfly stance. So, again, this particular glitch is a glitch. I pretty sure it's a glitch it isn't very consistent there's a likelihood that you might get the sound effect of going into your dragonfly stance but instead that you might or not dragonfly stance, but you may hear the sound of going into this but you're not going into your flea into your dragonfly stance now the implications of the super dragonfly is that once performed you can actually evade a lot of mids and a lot of highs when doing so here's a demonstration This, this particular type of move that the Kazuya did isn't exactly perfect as an example to be used for because you can still evade it by simply staying in your Indian stance, really. So here's a, a different example that you can use against this particular setup. I had to do that like multiple times to actually get it right. But as you can see, you can get over mids. And from there you can see you can even evade highs. Here's another example, though it's not perfect, you can still evade the 112 from Kazuya, but if the last hit manages to connect, then you'll still get hit by the follow-up because you already evaded the hit, but you're easing back down into the neutral, so you're still gonna get hit if that happens. And you can see that also works. And in the case of that, that's one of the ways you can actually beat the move. If you have some kind of hop kick you can use, I guess Yoshimitsu when he attempts to go for Super Dragonfly, that will beat it. But the funny thing is, is that Super Dragonfly isn't something you will be seeing often happening from a Yoshimitsu player. It's again very situational and it has to be perfectly timed. So you won't really see Yoshimitsu's doing this often in the game. So it's more likely that if the Yoshimitsu performs it, the opponent is not going to immediately believe that they'll do it so they can then stop it with a hop kick of some kind.
So that will be all. I hopefully I showcase everything that has to do with the Super Dragonfly tech. It has its advantages against the opponent, but at times it could just be very, how should I say, disadvantage? I think that's the right word to say. Either way, you can try and perform it yourselves in your own gameplay, but again, just be mindful that the move itself, even though it has a bit of evasiveness, that just because you go into your Dragonfly stance does not mean that it guarantees you any follow-ups right afterwards. The opponent can still figure out exactly what they should do against you. But regardless, you can go ahead and try yourselves. So if you like what you watch, give the video a like, dislike if you want to, subscribe to see more of my shit, and yeah, stay tuned, stay safe.